Hey guys, how you doing? I hope everyone's doing good today. I am going to go ahead and put uh, some heat pads underneath my tomato plants. I have a couple up here. And I'm gonna grab them. And we will take them in here. I got the tall, uh, what's it called? You know, the thing. I got the tall thing today. <laughs> huh. So, all right, I'm gonna spread it out there. There you go. Uh, let me turn the light on, might be better. Yep, yeah, I think, uh, I mean, the temperature is pretty good down here, but tomatoes like warm weather, so, uh, <clears throat> and then I need to go outside and water, and, uh, let's see here. And then I stuck around, and gonna move stuff around a little bit and uh, get some heat on them. Won't be loose. Won't we loosey. I'm gonna order a bigger, one big one of these. Maybe. I might just get two more of these. I don't know. I kind of decided against the big one because uh, they got a good deal on the two, on just getting two. So, in. Oh my, am I going to have to have a, um, I may have to get a, you know, I can't think of the, I can't think of what I, I know what I need, I just can't think of what we call it, a bigger outlet. Um, that's what I need. But maybe for the time being, because <clears throat> I know I have like, I don't know, several laying around the house. see how they go. I hope they start sprouting. Just never know. Sometimes they almost look like they might be. I'm just keep them in some water. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to try to put this lamp some sliders on that. <clears throat> I should be able to do that. Oh no, <laughs> it barely, barely. Hang on guys, I'm gonna have to go uh, I'm gonna to have to go up and get find me a uh, extension. That's a bummer. <clears throat> okay, let's go up here and see if I can't find. I'll find 
something. <clears throat> Hang on a second, just right there. This would be good. This would be good. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Hi, Simba. <laughs> Simba's trying to take a nap and I'm interrupting her. She's giving me the eye. <laughs> Lucy's here to help. She always has to help. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna put this one up here. This way. You know, I always think, oh, I'll just come in here and do this real quick. And then it ends up being a project. <coughs> Excuse me. Where's that one? I don't know if animals usually know. I hope that water's okay for her with the root grow in it. Because she drank some. do is warm up. Perfect. bring them sliders down here. I had sliders for the uh for the feet of the tables and stuff. Because <clears throat> this one's getting so old I don't know if it's got any rubber left on it but I think I'm going to put this in a, in a smaller pot so it doesn't need to take up all the room, this verbena. Because it's still got some green. It looks like it's growing in here, don't you think? So I'm going to put it in a smaller pot in there. It's going to um, put these right in here. Put this here. 
Oh, and the strawberries. This can go back. And I'll put this here. Actually, this doesn't really need all that light because it's an indoor plant. I'll get this figured out. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. And here we go. Strawberries. They're growing in here. And I got I gotta get me some sticker paper. I'm gonna have fungus flies, I know it. Alright. How about that? Now, uh, yeah, they're getting warm. So, we'll see if that does anything for them. I think it will. I think it will. What you doing, Lucy? What's in there? Okay, you can have that stick. <laughs> She'll always find something to play with. Okay, let's take uh, Miss Verbena into the growing room. And get a handle of it so I don't dump it all. Right? Okay, I'll put it up here for now. And I'm sure I can find a little pot to put her in. Here we go here. Get some dirt and uh, pot some of those uh, seeds of something in here that I wanted to look at for the tall grass, the tall grass seed. <clears throat> oh, that's for the, uh, that's for the little fountain, the pump. <clears throat> I cleaned it out and put it in there. <coughs> oh, good grief. Um, well, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to put that verbena in a pot. I think she'll do better. I'll cut her up, or trim her up. Let me get my trimmers. My husband said he's going to make me a little table, and I think I do need it. I don't think this is really going to be enough room. It could be if I didn't have so much junk on it, I guess. I think it'd be fine, but yeah, this won't even fit in there. But it's not that I'm going to have a lot of uh, a lot of these kinds of uh, containers either down here. Um, look her up real good. It looks like some new growth there. Um, let's try to get all this, this stuff that is not growing, whoops, so that it's not trying to See, that's got some new leaves right there. I'm just going to clip that down to them. I just thought this verbena was so pretty. She was the red, white one, red and white one. Wouldn't that be cool to have it for Christmas if she happened to bloom? I don't know if she will or not. But, um... 
we can see and we can hope. There. Just just the dead stuff. Okay, let's find a pot for her. What would she like to grow in? How about something like this? I don't have uh, holes in this though. Maybe. This one has holes. <clears throat> I will just uh, put this dirt and down in there and use the same dirt. Just put her in a different container. Okay, here we go. I got some roots in there for something. Dirt smells good. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wonder what all those roots are. I wonder if it's from the verbenas that I had in here. I had some other things in here too. So, don't know. But, oh, yeah, they're long. This is, this is pretty amazing. Look at her roots. Isn't that something? I don't know, I'll just put her in here and try to get her stuck down good. She'll fit. Yes, she will. Everyone have all their Christmas shopping done. <laughs> I barely started. I have a few little things that I think I'm going to put in a um, a bag and let them close their eyes and pull it out. <laughs> See what they got because I have some things like oh face masks that they like to moisturize and just some other little things like that that um, maybe I'll just let them do a grab bag because it might be kind of fun. And let's see. I'm just going to mix this in with my dirt in here. I, I don't have any dirt in it yet, but I'm just going to do that. I might grow something else in here later, later, later. Get rid of some of those roots. go. I'm going to put some water on her and just see what happens. So we will see. I'll go get the water. I'll go, I'll go get the water container. Hang on. I'm going to water her pretty good.
Okay. All right, I'm gonna go set her back in the, in the glow, uh, where I got the glow lights in there with the tomatoes. I'm gonna set her back in there. December brings January, and January brings February. <laughs> I just got to water my stuff here a little bit. It's ivy that I'm trying to make it grow again. And I don't know if anything else really needs anything. But... These stay pretty wet. Oh, they could probably use a drink. Okay. That should be pretty good for now. For now. But get ready because next week I'm going to start planting a few things to put under my grow lights in here in my little uh, room here so it's just about that time and I'm going to start some tomatoes also because sometimes they take a while and then I'm going to start um the tall grass too. So anyway, um, anything like that, I want to start really early because I have the grow lights and I can always keep them here and I have heating pads so I can keep them warm. So the bigger they get, the easier to plant and the better they'll do out in the garden. And then, of course, there are some things that you just plant in the garden. So I'll have to wait till like May for that or April. April is for lettuce and spinach and some of the cold stuff. And then I'm, uh, I'm thinking about ordering some actual onion seed. And I didn't know, I didn't know that. Uh, I've always just seen bulbs of onions. So uh, I'll try that this year. And just some other things, you know. I found these uh, egg cartons underneath underneath the sink. I must have moved them to get, it, get them out of my way. And I'm always, because sometimes we go and buy eggs from farmers and I like to give them back. But you know, you can plant stuff in these like little eggs. So if I have to, I can plant little seedlings in these. And uh, we'll try that, see how it works. So other than that, I can't think of a thing. I can't think of a thing I can do right now. Um, I got some ribbon at Family Dollar yesterday, and it's just, it's not, I'm sorry, Family Dollar, but it's just not very good, and there isn't very much on a spindle. I'm like, no wonder it's a buck. So, I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby probably tomorrow, or, oh no, tomorrow's Saturday. I'll probably go to Hobby Lobby next week when I go grocery shopping. And I'm going to pick up some, uh, or I'll see what Walmart has too. And I'm going to pick up some good ribbon so I can make some nice bows. Because I used to make some really nice bows, but it's been a long time. So I'm going to have to retrain myself on how to make them. But I think I know. So we'll just see. <laughs> we'll see how it works out. <clears throat> okay, you guys. I appreciate you, and I appreciate you watching. And uh, I appreciate you watching some of my silliness, too. Because um, I'm at a point right now where I'm ready to go. 
I'm ready to go. I'm ready to see some growth. I'm ready to see some plants growing. Um, but it just, you know, and, and the garden out there. This is the first time in 15 years, at least, at least 15 years, that it's just dirt, empty. It's just empty, nothing to look at at all. You know, um, before, you know, I would have something, you know, up, like, you know, a couple feet high or something, just something to look at, uh, something to say, oh, man, I need to get out there and clean that thing and uh, do this or do that. And it just, there's nothing out there. It just looks so bare. So, but you know what? It's going to be a good garden this year, a really good garden. It's going to be worth it. Because uh, when we get those heavy rains in the spring, which I hope we do, but yet I hope we don't, I wish we wouldn't get it all at once, let me put it that way. Because we do need the precipitation. We either need some snow, which snow is nice, because it melts slow, so it all goes into the ground. Where if you get a rain, the rain, if it rains too hard, it just drains off it drains off and doesn't get into the ground like snow would so um so we're just kind of waiting for that waiting for spring I don't want to wish my life away don't get me wrong but um that's why I'm starting stuff early down here so I'll have some things to put in the garden when it's ready so anyway enough jibber jabber. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Subscribe, like, and share um, because it's going to be a busy spring. It's going to, once January hits, it's going to be busy, busy, busy. And then don't forget, got the ranunculus in February. February is when I start the ranunculus and, um, and I have anime's Anemones coming and some other things that for our for spring that I'll be planting early. So so hang in there with me and enjoy your enjoy the rest of this year um, because it did go fast this year. So uh, take care and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.